For the sign of Scorpio, hello and welcome to my channel. So Scorpio, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got this Nine of Cups, and it's with the Three of Swords. Now, the Nine of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's often known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, or what you're dreaming about is most, like t most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. Now, the appearance of this card is about happiness, good things to come. It can also mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. Now, it's with the Three of Swords. Okay, the Three of Swords, with this one, there's an element of sorrow that's undeniable when this card appears. But what's on the other side can be enhanced understanding and joy. So, allow yourself to fully experience any sadness that comes up now. This way you can move past it. This card, it can point to maybe a deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can... Move on, because if you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any sadness that comes up now. This way, you can move past it, but make sure you don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in sadness or grief for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is, how long, is long enough, and others will not be able to do this for you. So, Scorpio, Nine of Cups clarified by this Three of Swords for the recent past energy between you and your person. So, what I'm getting is that for some of you, um, yeah, you found this person to be your wish come true. You felt very blessed and satisfied to have this person. And you had a lot, your, your desire for this person or for the connection or both was very strong. That's what you get with the Nine of Cups. Now, because it's with, it's clarified by the Three of Swords, well, that's telling me that um, you could be hurt by something that happened. Um, you could be um, dist distancing yourself from your person, or um, the two of you are shutting each other out. But someone's hurt here. But that's a recent past energy. Like I said, you felt blessed and satisfied to have this person. You probably still do for some of you. There's very strong desire that you have for this person. But you got hurt. Or you hurt by something. But let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Queen of Pentacles. And it's with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles. This is a card that can indicate... That you could spend, you could be spending money, time, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. Now, this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt, because people could be looking to you for insight or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This would be a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. Now, like I said, it's with the Page of Pentacles. This Page of Pentacles, it can be a card about boredom in some ways. You may be tempted to say things or do things just to shake things and people up for a little bit of excitement. You might want to rethink the impulse. Find a better use of your energy because we all know excitement. It can be created. The Page of Pentacles is actually a great energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. And I say this because it gives you focus 
It gives you backbone and the will to stick to a task. Yeah, the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So, coming up, Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles, clarified by this Page of Pentacles. So, what I'm getting here is that... Um... I don't know, the Page of Pentacles is about something losing its luster. Um, maybe you're a little bit bored with um, the connection or bored with whatever situation is going on that's causing you to feel hurt. Maybe you want it to be over and done with whatever has caused you you or your person some grief yeah page of pentacles is can be about wanting it to just you're, you're bored with the situation whatever is causing you this sadness or um whatever's causing you two to shut each other out you're over it you just want it to 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 no longer be because you, you're bored with the whole messy situation that's causing this disconnect with the three of swords here um so you realize that you might just need to fall back because the queen of pentacles the card above the lord present yeah she falls back she just takes comfort in the ordinary things the things that she know things that she she realize or know that will bring her peace and comfort um like she's sitting in her backyard she's in a lounge chair she's got her her dog um he's uh, sleeping on her feet he's keeping her toes warm she's feeding the squirrels and the birds in the backyard and yeah she, you just kind of um maybe you two fight a lot or maybe you two go through this shutting each other out a lot and you're you're just bored with that that whole shebang that you guys go through often and it causes someone to be hurt and it causes someone to shut out the other person and you're bored with that in the connection and you just you realize you just need to fall back and it looks like that's what a lot of you will be doing now, your challenge is showing the Four of Swords, and it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so the Four of Swords can show, well, it signifies a need for a break. Could be from normal life, or a person, or a normal break from um, people. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for some time now, but withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It can also mean uh, time away, but regardless, it's a sign to give people their space. You could be needing some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, it says you have a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, finance, health. All, the th all these things are going well when you get the Ten of Pentacles. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. Yeah. So you might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation and make the best of it. Share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we get back what we give out. Now, your challenge for swords clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So like I said, um, coming up you realize you need to fall back. Yeah. You're just kind of over the the drama that happens in the connection sometimes that causes hurtful feelings um, that causes 
you and your person shut each other out. But it looks like um, you could be thinking or feeling that um, not only do you need to fall back, but um, you could be feeling like with the Ten of Pentacles here. You could be feeling like this connection or this person was supposed to be your end all be all, but what it's doing is causing you to want to withdraw more than more than you thought you would. Yeah, yeah. So this Four of Swords is about rest after struggle. So I don't know if there was a fight or something or a huge disagreement. And it looks like, yeah, you were hoping that you two could come together and be happy, like the Ten of Pentacles. But it's causing um, distance. Your person could be withdrawing from you even more or you could feel like you're starting to withdraw even more. But the good thing about the Four of Swords is that the withdrawal is not permanent. Yeah, if you look at the picture of the Four of Swords, it's a card above the word challenge. Yeah, you see this man, he went up to the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs and his four swords and a candle. Yeah, so he, um surrounded himself with the swords and he's out for the count yeah he plans on being there overnight or maybe for a couple of nights he lit a candle in the shoe yeah just for when it gets dark it's about rest after struggle so you realize that you and your person you're not really at a happy place right now like the ten of pentacles yeah and that the both of you could be withdrawing more than you more than you would like for the two of you to be. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the world card and the page of cups. Now the world card. It's actually about completion. You worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way, so don't quit now. Because you're so close, you could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it, because you're getting closer and closer to who you are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you could be working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. Now, if this is the case... Make sure you blow your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now it's with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, it actually shows that there's a need to play, dream, have a little fun when this card appears. It can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too seriously. There was a poet or a writer that once said, the one thing that I've learned, I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster, so you have to know the difference. So, your outcome, Scorpio, the world, clarified by the Page of Cups. So, yeah. For some of you, you're going to start to feel like you need to close out this chapter with this person. Because the two of you are shutting each other out. Yeah, I'm getting that there's a lot of shutting each other out these days. And there's somebody's getting hurt. Someone's being really hurt by some things that are going on. And... There's a lot of withdrawal. And and the happiness is the happiness and the connection is is feel like it's 
There's more withdrawal than happiness these days between you and your person. <laughs> yeah, a lot of withdrawal and just falling back. And so some of you, you could just, you could be thinking about closing a chapter with this person, ending the journey. Because the world card is about closure. It's about completion. Yeah. And some of you are just realizing that you've been so focused on this connection that you're forgetting to have fun and enjoy life. So that's why a lot of you are thinking it's time to close out this chapter. I'm getting for a lot of you, it's just a thought. I don't know if any of you are really going to do it though. Because I'm looking at this recent past energy with the Nine of Cups. Someone feels very blessed and satisfied underneath it all. Yeah, to have you or you to have them. I'm getting that it's still there, but the connection is pretty challenging now. Yeah, a lot of withdrawing and just falling back and kind of being bored with the same old disagreement and fight that the two of you always have. And there's somebody getting hurt here. Somebody's not happy, and they just disappear. They withdraw, but they do come back. Like I said, you could be thinking about ending a cycle with this person. Maybe you're wanting this chapter to, to just be done with and end it. Yeah, you miss having fun. You miss, maybe you, you're missing the fun that you and your person used to have. And for some of you, you could be thinking your person is just not taking the connection as serious as you need them to. Because the Page of Cups can be about just uh, hanging loose, having fun. As you can see, those three people in the picture of the Page of Cups. The card below the word outcome, they're halfway naked, they're turning up the bottle, they're having a good time, so... Yeah, I'm getting a few different storylines. Yeah, so you could be thinking your person is not taking the connection that serious as they used to or that, or as they should. Or you could be thinking it's just time to close this out. Um, it's time to for you to have fun. And that's what you're missing. But that's the reading that I have for you, Scorpio. 